Good morning, good morning, everyone. TGIF. There's money to be made in the stock market today, ladies and gentlemen. So today we're going to talk about Peloton and the fall of Peloton. That doesn't mean that it won't rise again. I mean, we, we understand that in the stock market, we saw hearing headline news. We saw hearing about stocks that will essentially plummet because of their sales and revenue. And this is a time where as an investor, you, you, you have to make a decision. You have to say, well, if the Peloton stock is going to fall, do I buy a numerous of shares? Do I put in a put option? And for me, it probably will be a put option only, meaning that I can get in at a very low price and I can still make money and I can still acquire, I can still purchase Peloton stocks when I'm when I exercise my option. So either you want to sell your option or exercise your option. And that's very important because in order for you to do covered calls or covered puts, you need at least a hundred shares of that particular stock in order to cover your calls and your puts. So when it comes to Peloton, ladies and gentlemen, there's money to be made. Now I have my red light on to let you know that I necessarily don't pick this stock to do very well in the next um, three to four months. And for right now, it's not a buy for me when it comes to individual shares. But I will say, anytime you see that red light, that's also an indicator for you guys to buy put options, okay? Put options. There's still money to be made in this, um, in this industry, in this um, stock market, nonetheless, okay? So let's, let's get into the review here. I see we have a couple of people here this morning. We got Jermaine Anderson as well as Prime X. Nice to see you gentlemen here today. So with that being said, let's get into some news. Let's get into some stock review when it comes to Peloton. And I'm going to show you guys how you guys can make some money. All right, so the notorious, uh, the, the notorious Peloton stock. Now, I, I kind of figured this stock was going to do this, ladies and gentlemen. I kind of figured this stock was going to do this. And the reason why is because it's too damn expensive, first and foremost, right? You, you, want, you want some real stock reviews? Come over here to, to Ross World, a.k.a. Financial Literacy 101. You want some real stock reviews? First and foremost, I knew this stock wasn't going to last that long. This is one of those pandemic hypes. It's kind of one of those things that, uh, swing into fashion and swing out of fashion. Anybody remember Red Monkey jeans? Remember they were very popular for maybe a, maybe one to three years or Babe and Eight one to three years. That's the fitness world version of Peloton. Because when you look at it, ladies and gentlemen, now they're giving you two months free. They're like, we just need customers at this point. Now let me show you um, how this stock, essentially, ladies and gentlemen, is very very expensive for these products. Now, just for the bike, you're going to spend around $1,500. Now, here they say $1,495, and that's with zero APR. And I checked with Maury Povic, and he told me that was a lie. Okay, he told me that was a lie. Yeah, I spoke to Maury Povic because he said there's no way you're going to pay $39 a month um, for 39 months at zero APR because basic mathematics tell you, ladies and gentlemen, 39 times 39 equals 1,521. Yeah, old school calculator on you. Never fails. We got a little solar panel. But anyway, $1,500. Okay, a little bit over $1,500. But of course, you know, part of marketing and advertisement and some of the sales strategies that people use is they always use $499 or $1,495 to say, oh, it's not $1,500. But if you 39 times 39 is $1,521. And then I can do that the same thing with 1645 times, um, excuse me, on um, $43 times 39. Because this is how much you would be paying a month if you don't pay for it outright. Okay. Anyone knows that anytime you don't pay for something outright, you're going to pay a little bit extra. But nonetheless, now with this Peloton bike, you need Peloton shoes or you need bike shoes. And so you have to get the bike essentials where you have some weights, you have the shoes, and you have some earphones, okay? Then the next one is bike works. It includes All these includes delivery and setup, which is pretty good. 
but then you also may need a what? Peloton mat. You need some sort of flat mat to put the bike on. Nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, this is a very expensive product that they got a lot of people who were operating in the middle class because middle class and above um, are the major uh, con consumers in America. So a lot of times when you see products being advertised, the reason why you never really see the filthy rich men advertised to is because they're not going to buy this crap. They're just going to go to the gym or they have their own personal gym. Now, some of them may buy it, of course, but the largest sales base is the middle class. So with that being said, for people, jobs that didn't transition into virtual only or remote only, those people who did not get their jobs back, who couldn't go to another job and work remotely, they're now canceling their memberships, okay? They're now asking for refunds for Peloton. Why do you think all the headline news is like, oh, Peloton stops production of bikes? It's because essentially this was too damn high in the first place, right? Because what they do is they give you the bike and they say that's $39 for 39 months and that comes with no plan. We, we're going to give you one free month or one free class that you can kind of get accustomed to Peloton workout because they got to pay their personal trainers. They got to pay their production managers. They got to pay the people who are recording the people working out, et cetera, right? So look at this family. So you say, well, I don't just want to do the bike. So they say, well, we have bike plus cardio and strength. And I'm just showing you how this thought kind of the, the demise of this thought. So now you have this large LCD display that you can look at people and do other workouts like, you know, uh, uh, hit workouts and static, you know, basic weightlifting workouts. And look at how much all of these cost for the bike and basics of this one was twenty five hundred dollars. You have to pay fifty nine dollars for forty three months. Let's just do the math really quickly. I think math speaks volumes at zero APR. So fifty nine times forty three equals a whopping. 2537. So even this is wrong. Even this is wrong. So a lot of the prices are wrong. I mean, these are small discrepancies when it comes to Peloton. What you pay for, okay, is not what you get, or rather, what you get is not essentially what you pay for because you're paying more than the posted price, even if you get zero APR. I'm not hurting, I'm not trying to hurt Peloton stock. I am not trying to uh uh, be part of the demise of Peloton. No, I'm just giving you the facts as we know them. When you just look at it, this crap is expensive, okay? I just go get me a Bowflex bike because I have a Bowflex gym and I'm not a sponsor for Bowflex, but that is a plug. Nonetheless, you have the Bike Essentials, Bike Works, Bike Family. You're, you're almost talking about $3,000. Then, ladies and gentlemen, you have to pay at least $40 a month so you can start receiving, see... Me and my wife, when we was building our gym, we was like, oh, we should look at Peloton. And we looked at it. We were, oh, 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 oh. so we have to pay at least 2000 for the cheapest bike. And then we have to be on a monthly subscription to get some of the classes and workouts. No, nah, we good. We straight on that. We're not going to do that because that's very expensive. See, a lot of times in order for companies to uh, generate revenue, um, reoccurring revenue, is to get people on monthly subscriptions. See, their stock may go up if they lower their monthly subscriptions. Their stock may go up if they lower the price of their bikes. Now, with that being said, let's look at it. So Peloton in the last year has fall 83%. Now, no one likes this. Three months, 71%. One month, 33% rounding up. One week, 17%. And today, it looks like in the pre-market that it's going up. That's because, you know, a lot of times when these stocks are doing this, should I say this live? Yeah, why not? Fuck it. It's Friday. So what they do is, family, they go in themselves, the CEO, the CFO, people of the board of directors, and say, hey, we need around $3 million so we can start buying some of the shares of Peloton so people see that we essentially turned around our conditions. You know, it's kind of like me trying to lose weight. It's like, should I buy a bigger shirt or should I buy a shirt that hides my fat? <laughs> right? It's kind of like, <laughs> it's kind of like that. And they're really trying to hide the uh, current state that Peloton stock is actually in. And if you see right here, ladies and gentlemen, this is very alarming, right? It got down to $24 per share. Currently it's up at $25. But ladies and gentlemen, over the course in the past year, this stock has been down 83 percent okay 
They roughly have around 8,600 employees. It's headquarters out of New York. And believe it or not, Peloton has been around for a very, very long time, but no one really heard about Peloton until 2019, okay? Really when the pandemic hit. So for them to be around so long and do so good and then all of a sudden do so bad, I wonder what's going on with the head shed, the senior executive in this company when it comes to their stock price, right? We have to really look at this. Now, the 52-week low was $23. I'm right here, family. $23.25. And the 52-week high is a whopping $166. And some of you, sometimes I tell you guys, I say, this is the time to get in on this stock. I would be a fool to believe that every stock will turn it around. I can't believe that. Now, the jury is out when it comes to Peloton Interactive because I simply don't know if they will be able to turn it around. Is it possible? Of course it is. And that's why I tell you there's still, be, there's still money to be made when you go ahead and buy yourself a couple of options. Because here's the thing. If they restructure their business, and there's some other news I'm going to get into very quickly here. If they restructure their business, they can quite frankly do very well in the next three to four months, especially going into quarter two or quarter three. Now, I thought that Peloton was going to do very well here in Q1 or, or yeah, the, the late part of Q3, but Q1 here in 2022. I thought it was going to do very well because the spike of Omarion, Omarion, I keep saying that. I'm not trying to put, I'm not trying to butcher this. Omaricron, Omaricron, <laughs> whatever the new variant is, okay? I thought they would do very well because of that, but eh, doesn't look like it. They're still doing pretty bad. Now, again, let's look at some of the news here, family. Why Peloton and Netflix are seeing the highest interest on Wall Street bets today. They say buy at 48.4, hold at 45.2, sell at 6.5. And that's out of 31 analysts on Robinhood. That's that's very interesting. Huh, that's not even paused my 20%. Now, as we see the different earning quarters here, family, Q1, they were down. I thought they would be up, especially with the, the heightened news that we received um, from our news sources, okay? Let's move on. Now, the forecasted amount for Peloton, we're looking at in the next 12 months, which we're currently at $24, the median at an increase of 161% will rise to $69 per share. And on a high end, we're looking at almost a 300% increase where this stock can reach $100 once again. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know if those uh, those projections or forecasts uh, paid interest to CNN. I, I just don't see it when I look at their revenue, right? And, and there's many sources that you can do really quick revenue and earnings. And when I'm looking at this family, it, it, the, 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 I'm stumbling here because the future of Peloton does not look bright, okay? It does not look bright. We see revenue at uh, 4 point. Zero two billion dollars, but a negative one hundred eighty nine in earnings. Okay, and then the jury is out when it comes to whether you should buy, sell, or hold this stock when it comes to Yahoo Finance in January. But the recommended rating says it's a buy at two point five. Okay, it's a buy at two point five, and they believe that this particular stock will reach. Okay, the analyst price target is around $67.69. But let me show you this, family. You see right here in the performance outlook of this stock, all of these are bad indicators. Down from, from top to bottom, we have short-term, it's going down, mid-term going down, long-term going down, and they're saying the stock is overvalued. That's what the jury is saying. They're saying that this stock is overvalued. So the question is, you as an investor... Should you get in on this? Should you buy this particular stock? Well, family, let me give you a little more information before we go there. And it's going to be quick. So here on Capital.com, they said in April 2019, the Independent, a British daily newspaper referred to Peloton as a future of fitness and the best way to work out from home. With a loyal community of more than 6.2 million active members in January 2022, according to his website, this makes Peloton the largest interactive fitness platform in the world at this particular time. However, 
At the time of writing on January 19, 2022, the, the stock set at $29.78, which depicts a steep fall of 81.70% from the record high mentioned above. Now, in this article, we catch up on the latest Peloton news and blah, 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 blah. And as we can tell here from the analytics that in the height of Q1 or Q3, this stock was on very, very well. And then slowly but surely, even with the Omicron variant spikes, their revenue was still decreasing. So all of these bits of information of this stock is very, very alarming. It's very alarming, family. So last but not least, we're going to go to Zach's very quickly. Zach's is saying hold. But if you look at the bottom, it says style scores. We're looking at F for value, F for growth, B for momentum, and a total BGM of F. Family, me personally, I would not I will not buy the individual stock. I would buy me some put options. Now, your put options are going to be very, very expensive because the whole entire market has seen the drop and decrease of Peloton and they're expecting it to go even more. Why? Why are they expecting it to decrease even more? Because of the news. Right. I told you news is a big analytical tool. Some people may not say news is not analytical. It's very analytical, believe it or not. Peloton to halt production of his bikes, treadmills as the man wanes. Peloton to halt production of his bikes. Stop. Full stop. Don't make any more bikes. No money is coming in. People, I mean, there's so much bad news here. Peloton says it may consider cutting jobs and resetting production. That means they're going to start laying off people. And they're going to start off with the personal trainers. They're going to start off with the insider staff, the, the, the people who support the operation of Peloton. They're going to get rid of people in order to save some capital. Yes, they are. The pandemic boom is over. Just ask Peloton and Netflix. We all know that companies became super rich during the height of the pandemic, during the height of the Delta variant. But people are like, eh, I got my vaccine. I got my booster shot. I'm good. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to ride my own bike outside. And I would think the spike of Omicron, winter months, you would think that Peloton would go up. That just shows you that Peloton bit off more than they can chew with some of these prices that they're charging uh, some of the people who support their platform. Like, again, I looked at it like, man, that's too expensive for a bike. I might as well go ahead and get the Bowflex bike. And then you have to pay a monthly subscription i don't like monthly subscription especially to work out i like to pay for it and it's done i want you to keep taxing my pockets keep taxing my wallet let's go back now peloton ceo says company is taking significant corrective actions puts 2q revenue on forecast range that means anytime a ceo comes out and says we're taking significant corrective actions to put the peloton interactive stock back on course back on track what that means is we're going to halt the production of bikes so those people who are building the bikes no longer have jobs because we're going to cut them off they're going to do what boeing used to do when boeing used to go through this cycle and routine of hiring engineers firing engineers hiring engineers firing engineers they do it all the time and they do it for like one or two months and they hire the same engineers right back but for that two months you know how much money companies like boeing was saving millions and billions of dollars because these engineers are the ones who are building planes so their their paychecks are three hundred thousand dollars a year so by laying off 50 of them they're saving millions of dollars right so the same thing with peloton they're like hey we're hauling production of bikes we don't need any of these engineers who are building the bikes if we are cutting down some of our classes then we don't need all these personal trainers right these fitness gurus let's continue Peloton considers layoff, but denies a report it will pause bike production. Bull crap. I call bull crap. Bitcoin, Netflix, Peloton, Coinbase. What to watch when the stock market opens today. And the stock market is live, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go back and see how this stock is doing out of the gate. Today we have it live, and it still says that this stock is up around 7.35%. But let's look at some options here. Very quickly before we get off, let's look at some options. If you have any questions, please put them in the chat room. I'll look at them and read them. So right now we see these are call options. Let's go to put. 
Let's go for maybe January 28th, one week out. Let's look at how this looks. So currently, family, what we're looking at here, okay, we're looking at how expensive these put options are. So put options that you are investing that this stock is going to go down, okay, that these stocks are going to go down. Currently, the strike price is around $25, $26. And so what I want to do is I will buy it under strike price around $25. Look how much this option is. It's a dollar and 51 cents. And anytime I tell you the, the, the price of an option, ladies and gentlemen, always times 100. Okay. So what I mean is right now you see 26, you see how I jumped up from 150 to 186, right? <laughs> That's because this thing is getting very expensive. So let me show you. So if you click the plus sign here on Robin Hood and you say it's right here, I'm putting in at the 26 put that this stock is going to go down to. Because currently is at 26.19. And again, these will get more expensive at Peloton drops. The total cost is a dollar and eighty-five cents. But when you hit continue, the maximum price of this put option is $185. Okay. And when we're talking about options, there's pretty much two things you can do with options, right? Um, if you don't have a hundred shares of this particular option, you can't cover it, but you can sell this put option and make whatever the earnings come from when this finished decreasing. Two, you can exercise your options and buy Peloton, okay, at the strike price in which you bought the option at, which is $26. Now, when it comes for this particular stock, I'm just trying to figure out how they're going to make their money back. Now, there's a lot of things that uh, CEOs and, and, and businesses can do to restructure their business in order to make profit. I don't know exactly what they're going to do, but ladies and gentlemen, as I told you before, this, this, oh my, the option is blowing up. Look at this. It's already at 194. Remember, it was only 150, then 180. And if we continue to look at this family, it's going to keep fluctuating. And believe it or not, sooner than later, this is going to become $200 to buy this option. Okay. Because I'm expecting Peloton to get down to what, $24, $23 per share. So if you want to go in, and you want to make some fast cash, I'm telling you right now, go ahead and take $200. You know you got paid today. It's mid-month or it's end of the month. I don't know. Did you get paid? I don't know. But nonetheless, there's money to be made. You can buy this put option, okay, and then sell it later on today because I'm pretty sure you're going to make a couple of hundred dollars. It just depends on what option you know you essentially buy. Now, watch this. I got one more trick under my sleeve to show you how the stock market works. Now, I put in a put option to buy. Now, I'm going to put in a call option. And I'm going to extend this call option out to, let's say, the warmer months. Let's put May. And I'm going to say this stock is going to go up to, do, 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 do. Uh, let's just say $30. Now, look how much this is going to cost me. Let me go back. Let me get rid of this one really quickly. Continue. $425 because they believe that the stock is going to come back. Let's look at the implied volatility. The implied volatility is over 100%. And implied volatility is one of those indicators, one of those analytical tools that tell you it's 100% chance that it's going to reach $30. Then it's 100% chance that it won't. I don't know if that's a really good way to look at it. But again, if there's money to be made, family is in put option. This is Financial Literacy 101. Later tonight, I might do my uh, talk or it's probably be Saturday night. I'll let you guys know. I'll post something here. But nonetheless, you guys have a great and wonderful day. Learn money and be inspired. And don't look at this stock like it's not money to be made. There's money. You just have to bank on it going down. I'm out.